Uh, anyway, my uh, next guest uh, is a NASA astronaut. He's just completed his second space flight in May. Take a look at this. Now it's time for our favorite segment, which Good is... To see you again. I uh, likewise. In my corner. In your corner. Scooter's, Scooter's corner. corner. And he's actually in his real corner. You're, hey, where, do you, where are you sitting right now? Oh, wait a minute. I got a gun in my arm. What are you going to do with I that? I got to get rid of that. I put it under the dash, maybe the next guy. Can there you have it. <laughs> All right, is there any other gum down here, or are you the first guy? I'm the first. Man. All right, Atlantis there you go. is pretty new. All right, so the next commander of Atlantis, <laughs> don't worry about bringing gum, we got some for you. Hasn't space travel changed? <laughs> Please welcome Mike Massimino, everybody. Mike Massimino. Mike, and thank you for wearing your flying suit, which is fantastic. Well, I, I appreciate You know, the, the thing is, I was asking my son about, you know, I was coming on the show, and right. he's 14. I was like, what do you think I should wear? Should I wear my flight suit? And he said, no, don't wear that thing. I go, why is that? He goes, it makes you look like an idiot. <laughs> so if you're perfect, maybe this will work. Well, but, no, but that you yeah. fit right in. But I the thing right is... <laughs> It doesn't make you look cool, cool in a thanks, flight suit. So you look—I mean, yeah. it would help to have a, a space shuttle with you, because then it, it would look, you know. Yeah, but you couldn't fit it. It's well, a little bit you're too not going to fit it in here. Yeah. No. And it's busy right now. It's uh, up in space, so. It's up there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We just had a launch today. Do you ever get crazy to go back up? Like when you look at the sky every day, you go, "I can't stand being stuck on this planet," and you have to get. <laughs> only, only when I need to do stuff like uh, mow the lawn. Right. You know, you come home and all of a sudden, you know, shingles are falling off the roof. Yeah. And the pool's dirty, and the kids are screaming, and Good you're like, Lord, I wish. I was back in space where everything was simple. <laughs> but uh, see when you but take no, off, really, it's good to be back. It's when really you take off back. in the shuttle, yeah. right? Do you do you control it? Like, do you like all the power and say all the things and 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 do all, you fly the thing no, up? And now you're scaring me. No, no, I no. didn't. No, I didn't. We have it's it's uh, generally an automatic sequence that that takes you up there. Right. But we have a uh, pilot and a commander and two uh, astronauts who are on the flight deck. Me and two other guys were on the mid deck, so we didn't have any windows and, and no gate. We had lockers. We had to make sure everything stayed in the locker, and that was That's it. That's a very important, very important job thing. You don't lose any of your stuff. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but the guys upstairs are kind of monitoring what goes on. And if right. we did have a problem, and we actually did have a problem coming off the pad, we had a, a master alarm go off. But it wasn't, it wasn't a big problem. I would have, have made around. a terrible mess of my flight suit. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why we wear a diaper. Right. Yeah. We wear diapers for that reason. We're, we're, in, we're in our, not in this thing. This is, we fly in our airplanes in this. But we fly, we wear a big orange suit and, uh, when, we, when we launch and when we land. And we wear a big white suit when we spacewalk. And, uh, you know, you can't really get up to go to the potty. So you're, you, know, you, you wear a diaper just in case. You need to do that. But, uh, uh, but it, we go, the first, <laughs> the first thing you Where do before. Where would I get me one of those? You don't uh, want <laughs> You don't want one of those. Right. But the first thing you do before you get on the shuttle is you make sure that you're ready to go and all that's taken care of. And right, because this is by the captaincy right now. Has everyone been in the bathroom? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. We can't, We're not stopping halfway. We can't, we can't pull off. You know, right. we, can't, we can't pull over, so. But, uh, yeah, no, it was, it was a little bit, it was a little bit exciting. Now, are you, are you a pilot? Are you a, I'm a, a private pilot, which right. you are as well, right? Uh, check you're ride a, in two flight. weeks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. check yeah. ride coming up. Yeah, That's no. pretty big. For yeah. your private license? Yeah. Or for, yeah. You ready for it? How's it, I think it so. Like? I, the book learning, I'm a bit behind. It's all, yeah, like, airspace, okay. 500 feet below the cloud, yeah. 1,000 feet, about 2,000 of the city. Right. I'm like, oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> come on, who's up there? I know, for people, there's a lot of rules. You got somebody to talk to, you know, when you're in an airplane, you got some people you can ask questions to, and that's Right. Space flight is too. It's an open book test. You know, if you have a question, hey, you can I don't ask know a question the, during the test. Ask a question, yeah. right? You can ask a question during the space flight. It's an open book test. So, you know, if you if you have a problem, they're going to tell you. They're not going to like keep the answer from you. Not you like, know, like in, a, yeah, like right, in school. Know? Right in school, well, they went, like, "Oh, we're not going to tell you the answer. You got to figure it out." You know? Yeah, that's bad it's, in an airplane. No, so, in an airplane, they're going to tell. So just think of it that way. If, yeah, you know, yeah. if you're up there and you're not sure where your altitude is, you ask the guy. Yeah, that's right. I don't know where I am. Right, and you say, "Well, you better find out, or we're going to be in trouble." Keep that in mind. People yeah. want you to succeed at that. That's they don't want, true. They don't yeah. want problems in the, you know, in the airport. I know. I don't. I don't. No, what what yeah. kind of plane do you fly in your own time? Oh, we. Uh, well, I haven't flown pli privately in a long time. Okay. It's been years uh, since I've flown, flown uh, in a private airplane. Right. But uh, we fly in T-38 uh, jet trainers as part of our training. 
Uh, and I get to sit, I'm the co-pilot, I get to sit in the back. We have uh, our astronaut pilots, commander and pilot uh, from our flight, for example, or one of our instructor pilots sit in the front, and we get to sit in the back. But it's a really cool plane. Is it plane. very, very, is a lot of full G, about 8 Oh, it's a cool, I mean, we can go up to about 6 Gs, and if we're doing, you know, those types of uh, aerobatics. Oh. But, yeah, you can do all kinds of fun oh, stuff nice. with How it. It's would a great I get airplane. me some of that, then? Would I have to? I, well, I was, should have gone to college, really, for uh, a start. That's I, a start, but it's not too late. Yeah. And yeah, we have a long application process. You <laughs> fill that out and yeah. see what happens. I'm a citizen now. That's that the helps. first step. We've had first guys. step. Yeah. First We've step. Had. Yeah. That's actually why I became why I became an American was partially, well, in fact, really to do with NASA because I, uh, I watched the moon landing when I was a kid. You must be about the same age as me, where you? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 46. I, I'm you know, 47. We're yeah, you we're coming up on the 40th anniversary of the, of the, of moon, the moon landing. landing. Yeah. yeah, we're coming up on the launch in a couple of days, and then the landing was uh, July the 20th. So, and it's going to be 40 years. Did I you ever? Six. Did you ever meet Neil Armstrong? I did. Yes, it was uh, it was really cool. My uh, my first week as an astronaut 13 years ago. That must be cool when you say they go. Oh, well, there's your astronaut card and your yeah. blue suit. Off they you should go. Make, they should have, they there's should, your diaper. Good yeah, night. Yeah. <laughs> there, there should be some kind of ceremony with that, but there think, isn't. You think, you know, you just kind of hand you the stuff. You go out there. Like astronaut. It's not you, like you, you pick, graduate from plumber college. It's exactly. astronaut. But there's no, there's no real, they do swear you in as a, you know, as a uh, civil servant, as a, you know, a government employee. Right. Uh, I'm a civilian, so I was, I had to get sworn in. And, right. and uh, they give you your, you know, your fancy flight suit and all that stuff. And uh, not too much pomp and circumstance, but it's pretty cool. But you, and then you met uh, Neil Well, the Armstrong first week, yeah, we were there. We happened to show up right around the time of uh, an astronaut reunion that was taking place. And uh, Neil was in town, and he was uh, gracious enough to come speak to our class. And wow. he's a, just a, a, you know, he's my boyhood hero. You know, yeah. Here he is right there in front and of Buzz us. And Buzz Aldrin and Michael Buzz Collins. Aldrin, yeah. yeah, they're all, they're all great guys. And, uh, and the thing I noticed about Neil is that we, got, we all went up and, and got his autograph and said hi to him. And I noticed, I was watching my classmates go up to him, and everyone would tell him, you know, where they were when he landed on the moon. You know, it's one of these yeah, things where, you know, I was, would, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was in the Poconos on vacation with my family, or I was at home watching on the TV set, or wherever you were, you know, they were telling him this. I'm watching everyone going up, and I, I said to him, I go, let me ask you something, you know, does this happen to you every, every, every day? And he says, yeah, he says, people, you know, it's such a great event that people want to share that with him, and they tell him, it must drive him nuts, you know, but I'm he's sure. a very nice guy. Actually, so, going to the moon must make you a little loopy, anyway. I would, I mean, I would I, think. We, don't, we haven't gone there in a while. The but, moon! I yeah. mean, you Amazing, look at the thing it? at yeah. night, and, and, oh, my God. Yeah, it's know. incredible. Yeah. Yeah, when we go with the shuttle, we go uh, about, we were up at 350 miles up when we were in the shuttle. And the, the space station where the, where the guys and gals are going today, uh, or it's 250 miles up, and the moon was 250,000 miles away. So we're going less than one tenth of one percent wow. the distance of the moon. So it was really what's you think the, about that was quite. Well, how long were you up there? Uh, up for my first flight, I was up for 11 days, and this last flight was 13 days. Did you ever get experience any sensation? I'm sure that you're vetted for this. Any sensation uh. of panic or uh, disorientation or vertigo when you were going up there? Uh, not really, no. I mean, the, the only, you know, people ask if you're scared, you know, was it, were you nervous or anything? And yeah. I tell you, Craig, the, the thing where it hit me was right before the launch, you know, because you get out, you wake up that morning and you, and you go out and you get into this Astro van and there's these SWAT guys out there with these weapons and there's a helicopter above you. It's like and me my, coming to work. Kind of like yeah. a minute like that, yeah, you know. <laughs> And, uh, and I was with my, one of my buddies, and we were two rookies on a flight, me and my, my, my friend uh, Dwayne Carey Digger was his nickname, and he turns to me and goes, what's with all these, you know, what are these guys here for security? I go, I think they're making sure we get on. Yeah. You know, that was like, we don't change our mind. It would be very bad for the country if you would, I'm scared! Yeah, that's a, yeah, it's yeah. not good, and then it's terrible if you have kids, they're going to make fun of your kids at yeah, school, no, so no, it's no, not you... a good, you don't want that to happen. Oof. But you get on this thing and you go out to the, and, you, and there's a couple managers with you, the chief of the office, and some, you know, big shots are with you riding out there, but they keep getting off before you get to the vehicle, you know, they get, uh, they're all like, leaving. And next thing you know, it's only the driver, and he's driving looking like this, you know, he wants to get, yeah. get you and dump you off. And I had been around space shuttle before, but I'd never been fueled, you know, they fill up that tank oh, with, yeah. all the, with all the Who's fuel. Does it smell like jet fuel? It, it, it uh, doesn't really have much of an odor, but it, 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 has, it has noises to it. When you get to the shuttle, it's like creaking and making noises, and it's smoking, uh. and it looks like a beast. It ah, really that does. That is so awesome. Yeah, and, then, <laughs> and that's that. when you realize, you realize maybe this wasn't such a good idea. No, you know, no, I'm, I'm, to get out there. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> but once that. you get inside, um, so that was where you know, the, uh, for me, the nervousness kind of took. Once you get inside and you have a job to do and you're getting yourself set up, it it really is kind of cool. And then. Once you launch, there's really nothing to stop this thing. You know, it's just gonna go, and it's it's, it's like a cool what they say, ride. It's like it's like uh, making love to a gorilla. You ain't done till the gorilla's done. <laughs> you know, I, I never thought of it that way. 
but that's a good way to look at it, I guess. Mike, I Mike we're completely out of time. You, you're going to come back and talk to us again. Okay, sometime. I'd love to. I'd All love right. to. Make massive everybody. We'll be right back.